on est ici à Pit Town euh, pour une randonnée en équipe. Euh, on a beaucoup de garçons ici et euh, on va essayer d'aller vite en fait. Why? Uh, study and race and in La Roche sur Lyon. At the moment, for one to two years, finish all my school and then see see how I go. If I come back or stay. Does this mean that we're are you, are you officially getting drops from us? Is that actually what happened? Is that the true story? Uh, I don't know. On s'est arrêté à un café pour um, prendre un petit, petit déjeuner et ouais um, c'était sympa là on va juste re retourner sur la route et puis um, on va y aller on va rouler on va parler on va faire du vélo So that was Antoine's, well, last at a group ride with us. He's heading to France. He's, this is a massive sort of move for the guy. He's actually going to go start school over there. Really exciting. <laughs> it's not your ferry, guys. I actually know what ferry they're getting, and they don't need to run for that. Um, yeah, so look, we'll, we'll kind of keep that playing along on the vlog, hopefully see how he gets on over there. But really good luck to the guy. He's a lovely kid, um, and he's a kid, right? So he's going over to school, which is pretty... Massive, isn't it? Speaking of kids, these guys are on a trip of their own the next couple of days. Uh, they're going over to Ireland uh, for Elizabeth's sister's wedding. So I'm trying to hang out as much as possible with them. Are you going to Ireland? I'm by an airplane. 
on a big aeroplane. And what's your big job in Ireland? What's Daddy told you to do when you're in Ireland? Um, see how many days it rains. That's right. And you're going to count all the days? Yes. Yes. How many days do you think it's going to rain? Um, I think 60 hundred. 60 hundred. <laughs> I think that's probably about right. Thanks again guys for a lot of those comments on the bike video. The weight one was really interesting, wasn't it? I, I was really, really surprised. I, I thought there'd be another 200 grams in it. Um, I was surprised by a lot of the guesses as well. We had everything from like low six to sort of eight and a half, nine kilos. Alexi, come on. But the guy who won, the guy who won, right? So he was one gram off, which is pretty amazing. But also he's won every comp that we've run so far. He's won every competition. So, I don't know, like, is he, like, watching? I, how? I don't know. So, um... Ah, that's us. Anyway, well played, you. Hats on its way. We also had Grammy's... We also had Grammy's? We also had Amy's Grand Fonda over the weekend. We weren't down there. We were the Nero Cohen boys were represented, but it was, uh, it was Benny, Sam, Lee, Taj. Look... It's finished in a bunch kick and, and Taj has got over the climb and finished in the top 10 in a, in a bunch sprint with some, some pretty elite sprinters, which is pretty wild to think because you've got to remember back to Battle of the Border. That was his first NRS race and he's, he's right there in the mix now, which is, which is pretty exciting. I'm not going to lie to you. The other sort of highlight from my perspective was Ben. So you know Ben's a weapon, but the other part of Ben you don't know is he's very, very very quiet he took an absolute leadership role on the weekend um dictated the boys road captain gave them roles it's just crazy to think like 12 months ago this is ben van dam sort of quietly in the corner keeping to his own now like he's handing out race plans and going you do this you do that there's a bit of a future in that for ben i'm not going to listen to you though We have a window. We have a very, very limited window, guys. So what you're about to witness, how's the hair? What you're about to witness is an absolute one take. I have to do this in one take. We do not have long, as you can dead set imagine, this week is just crazy, crazy busy. So what I thought we'd do, guys, is easily the biggest asked question I get is what camera do you run on the bike when you're vlogging, okay? Which the answer is the Sony. RX 105 and I'm not going to like go into the pros and cons of this camera but what I want to do is share some things with you guys so you've also commented that like the vlogs have got better in the last couple of weeks and months and look that is mainly due just to the fact that I kind of got better using the camera like I've, I've sort of learnt how to to use it so I thought what we'd do is actually share some of the things that I've learnt with you guys on how to use these cameras to sort of make your photos and your videos on the bike. This is on the bike, right? I really want to stress that. Uh, better, okay? So the first tip without doubt is use your memory settings. Now, most of these cameras, well, all of these cameras will come with some sort of memory setting which allows you to revert to a preset setting. Now, the reason you do this, okay, is because no two shots on the bike are the same. So for example, like if you want to sort of get that super slow moe type footage, you obviously have to go run these high frame rates, like 100 frames a second or something like that. There's loads of videos online about, you know, why to do this, but it basically means you shoot a high frame rate and you slow it down to whatever you need to get those super slow moe things, which is great. You know, you can do that on the bike and it's perfect. But here's the thing, you don't want to run that super high frame rate stuff if you're trying to talk to someone next to the bike, on, on the bike, sorry, because that means they'll be all jittery and what tends to happen is it gets all overexposed because the lens taking in more light. So what do you do? Well, 
I set a couple of preset things on these memory settings. It's allowed me to just press two buttons to switch between them. So, you know, I might ride up next to the guys on one particular memory setting and get like a nice 100 frames a second shot. Two buttons later, Junior, how you doing? Talk about the day, but back at a slower frame rate. Because if you drop the, the frame rate down, suddenly the exposure sort of neutralizes a lot better and you're able to have those conversations. So the memory settings on the bike are so, so important. You know, you can't be stuffing around on the, you know, you're at threshold, a lot of the time I am trying to keep up, trying to, to get these shots. Just use the memory settings, flick between them. Okay, second trick, second tip is definitely use color profiles. Now, a lot of these cameras will come with a color profile that allows you to flatten everything you shoot. So the colors are all flattened down. So when you're on the bike and you're riding along, you get all these different lights. You get sort of, you know, sun in front, sun behind, you know, back lit, forward lit, all kinds of things. And the camera really struggles to deal with that if you leave it in an auto setting. So it'll be sort of flicking around all over the place. So what I do is I run a flat color profile. On the Sony, they're called picture profiles. And what that does is it takes a lot of the color out. You look at the natural shot of it and it's super, super like dull and gray. But what it does, it kind of cuts your losses. So when you go back and you upload it onto your computer, it sort of neutralizes everything, meaning I can go back in and go, righto, well, here's a shot I'm riding along talking to Junior, the sun's behind us. So I just have to bump the shadows up a bit and all of a sudden, oh, yep, no problems. We're actually kind of neutral. Whereas if I was running that on auto, the camera would be freaking out and we'd probably both be sort of black and you wouldn't be able to see us. I use Picture Profile, Picture Profile 5 on these Sonys. It's not like super dull, but it just allows you to, to get away with those losses that you would have got if you were running a full auto. The other one, guys, the other tip is audio. The bane of my existence. Okay, so, the tip with audio is just be conscious of your surroundings, guys. The thing I found is if you're riding along and you want to talk to someone and you have to talk a bit like that, don't bother. This bike seems totally different. And that cool little chat that you had with your mate or the bit that you were talking about this awesome ride that you're doing is completely inaudible and it's a total waste of time. Be conscious of your surroundings. You'll see me do this all the time. I won't bother pulling the camera out and talking to someone if there's a 25 kilometer hour headwind. We are in Wangaratta. It is the tour of the King Valley. Be conscious side, oh my God, crosswinds, forget about it. Do not even, just, just leave it at home if there's crosswinds. Um, the other thing with audio is, yeah, look, I mean, the little patented Miller audio solution. You just need to get something sitting, like the cotton wool, sitting on top of those external microphones just to stop the wind rubbing across the top of the microphone. It's not perfect, it just gets you out of jail on a few situations. The, do, the thing with this that is really good is obviously a physical barrier by putting it, the lens, the um, screen up, because the microphones are sitting up the top there is really good to, to create or to stop that wind coming across it. Yes, no takes, no edits, right. Good luck guys, see you in Nuggetron. Good news, we're heading back to pick up the nugget and uh, Elizabeth, which will hopefully give us an opportunity to do an ask, an ad hoc, an ad hoc ask Elizabeth, because she's clear to fly. She's so gonna lose her for a little bit. But we're gonna hashtag ask Elizabeth. Hey, Nuggy the Nug. The best kid. Oh, Nuggy Great the little nug. patient. Lovely to everyone. Intro sequence, ask Elizabeth. First question is... Best ways a husband can barter for more than eight hours per week on the bike, hashtag ask Elizabeth. Ask yourself, what have you done for her lately? Ask her that question, you probably get more time on the bike. Do I miss living in the United States? Do I miss living in the United States of America? 
never actually lived in the United States of America. So no, I don't miss it. I'm sure it's a lovely place to live. Where do you where did you grow up? Ireland. Or about in Ireland. The poshest part. Dublin, the normal part where most people come from. Chag ask Elizabeth, who is your favourite Neuro KOM rider? Angus Calder, aka Junior, my favourite by far. Wow. Oh no, Chris Miller. That's all right. Little known fact, both Elizabeth and I started riding at the same time. The first Clearly. bike that you owned was a? Specialised uh, Dolce, I think it was. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I do. I run instead of riding a bike because you can smash a better run into 30 minutes than you can a bike ride. Yes. So Chris goes out and rides his bike four hours. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? So you're on your bike for four hours and you're not in my house. I'm okay with it. See, that's the trick. That's the trick. Have a relationship where you know, you're better apart. You're better apart <laughs> and it's better. Favorite drink after either a long day of work or a long day putting up with me? Gin and tonic. Lots of ice, very sparkly, Bombay, ton uh, Bombay gin and um, Schweppes tonic, but in the little glass bottles and it makes the sound when you open it. Very specific. She makes a very good gin and tonic. Very good. My mother does as well, but that's just because she puts twice as much gin in it. So. But also because she taught me. Hmm. Marie taught me how to make a gin and tonic. She does a good one. What about back in Ireland? Uh, Guinness drinker or Smithix or what are you drinking? I'll have a glass Guinness and then I will pass out. That's how the evening generally goes. She was very cheap date, so I'll say. Takes one to no one. So it didn't mean to be a bit uh, a bit scary there, but no, Nugget's just been running a bit of a high temperature and with the flight coming up, they just needed to check it out. Turns out they're gonna fly, uh, so everything is relatively okay. It's gonna be a bit of a rough trip, but anyway, should be okay. Guys, I know today was a little bit different. We did a little bit of tech. I love talking tech, you guys know that. So please fire me questions about these cameras and that kind of stuff if, if it's interesting to you. I mean, I, I do wanna make sure that this is more than just like standard race vlogs all the time and just cycling chat. Like I love these types of things. So please do, if you like this chat, if you've got questions, put them down, put them downstairs, put them in the comments section. Uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got a nasty feeling like this could be a slightly clickbaity thumbnail, like something about farewells, but I do want to finish by just again saying a big farewell to, to Antoine. I hope he um, I hope he just has a really awesome kind of experience over there and whether he becomes a professional cyclist out of it or not, it doesn't really matter. This is an awesome opportunity, great life experience. Um, and it's something that we're really proud of. I'm, I'm really proud that the team sort of is, is standing behind him as well. So that's us done. Like the video, do the commenty thing. Talk to you soon. What Paw Patrol on the airplane? There's going to be a lot of Paw Patrol, isn't there? Yeah. Is it a long aeroplane trip? Yeah, a long one. Yeah. yeah. Very long one. Almost takes 24 hours. Yeah.